Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bidet Cat, and welcome back to What I Eat in a Week. Basically, a little vloggy vlog of a whole week of food for your fun and entertainment, and just so we can hang out. Um, I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist, I'm just a random foodie girl who lives in New York City showing you guys what I eat. So, like, don't take my weird food habits as rules or anything. Um, every morning I drink a coffee, but I don't usually show it because I just don't like being on camera. I also take a B12 vitamin and a D3. And I guess that's all I have for an intro. I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's hop straight into it. Good morning. As you can tell, I'm at my parents' house. That's because my grandma is visiting and we're going to be making a couple of videos together. We're gonna to be making stuffed grape leaves and we're gonna be making stuffed um, kusa, which is like a zucchini, but like the little, the little zucchinis, not the long dark green ones, the little light green ones. Um, I haven't eaten yet, so I like scrounged through the fridge to see what I could find. I found some baby cucumbers and a little tomato, and then I found some pita bread, and I found some baba ganoush. So I'm going to like cut it up and make me a little plate so I can like. And also, my grandma asked me to juice these lemons for her while she is putting on her makeup. She's so cute because. Everyone thinks she's like so adorable, but she's so self-conscious to be online. I'll show you her, I put her on my Instagram sometimes, but I'll show you her on YouTube when she comes down. She's the cutest. Here's my breakfast. Ta-da! And then if you're not familiar with Baba Ganoug, it is like a cold salad made with eggplant and tahini and garlic and lemon and stuff. And you hummus, you scoop. You just go like this. Mmm. This is my grandma. I mean, I think I've, sh I've showed you guys her before, but we're making stuffed kusa together. Squash or zucchini, like a little, I think it's called like Mexican zucchini or Arabic zucchini, Middle Eastern zucchini. Hi. <laughs> we're making it with impossible meat and I think it's gonna turn out really good. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm posting the whole recipe on Instagram. We took out a little tester, a little tester kusa and I'm eating it right now. Normally we'd put like yogurt on this or something, but I don't have any vegan yogurt to put on top, so I'm having it dry. I made myself a little lunch. Well, I mean, I heated up myself a little lunch. It's just some rice, tomatoes, onions, peppers, sausage, all cooked in like spices and stuff. Oh yeah, there's broccoli in here too. And I'm also making myself a coffee because I'm craving one. I'll show you the creamer that I use in my parents' house. Um, they don't have the creamer I usually use, but it's also pretty good. This one right here, um, Blue Diamond Almond Breeze Almond Milk Creamer, Sweet and Creamy Vanilla. It's not silk soy, but it's a good second. The grape leaves are done. This half was uh, vegan grape leaves with the vegetables. This half, it was a small amount, it was like an experiment, was the one with um, Impossible Meat. And they both turned out really good. I think the grape leaves turned out better than the kusa. Only because I think the kusa dilu diluted the, like, the flavor, so we need to put more spices in the kusa than we do the grape leaves. That's all. Either way, win-win. The rent sorted Italian for inner so Rebecca ate bread, vegan chive cream cheese, and some of this salad with vinaigrette. I showered, I washed my hair, I'm in my jammies, I'm in my home, and I'm eating some chocolate blop before bed. It's just cream of rice, orgain chocolate protein powder, some cocoa powder, and cooked in water. You could also cook it in almond milk, but it's a little cheaper. Good morning, I'm at work. I'm actually one of the only people here uh, because the factory is closed today, but the factory is never closed. <coughs> family is in a family business, never have a day off. I decided to have a day in where I can work and nobody talks to me. I love having that time to just really concentrate. I've been here for a couple hours and I got kind of hungry. So I heated up my food. I have savory oatmeal today. Let me show you the setup. I cooked some oatmeal in veggie broth. It's right here. And then on top I put soy sauce and sriracha. This is uh, some just egg that I cooked up last night. And I'm going to be topping it with half an avocado and some kimchi. 
plop that avocado on there plop the kimchi on there I think we put oatmeal in a sweet box way too often when it's a decent savory grain as well and then I'm just gonna mix it together and it's going to be my breakfast I'm at my parents' house and I heat up some kusa that we made yesterday because I'm hangry and I need to eat ASAP. Here they are right here. My brothers are working on like an engine in the, in the basement. Just don't mind them. Um, it's just a uh, blah, 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 blah. zucchini stuffed with rice and beyond meat and a tomato. Goodbye. I'm getting a little sleepy, but I have some like cleaning and work to do and stuff. So I'm gonna have a little piece of chocolate. This is from Tony Bologna, to, to, Tony Bologna, Tony Chocoloni, I don't know. Basically, Oatly sent out some chocolate bars for Christmas from Tony's, and they sent me some, and I left it at my parents' house. So I'm eating a little piece right now. Update, I just stress ate a bagel. <laughs> when I'm anxious sometimes, I just turn into a human vacuum. I'm sure that happens to some of you. Um, I didn't have the camera on me to shoot it, but I ate a bagel with that like nourish chive cream cheese. It was pretty good, but I ate it too fast, so now I have a stomach ache. Lil chocolate cupcake for desert yay. Good morning. I'm actually going to get ready and go out and shoot a video in a minute, but I woke up hungry, which is not something I usually do, and I made myself breakfast. Let me show you. We have two different toasts. This one is just egg with ketchup and sriracha. And this one is avocado and kimchi. As a savory breakfast lover, this is actually like one of my favorite breakfasts. So I'm gonna eat this, get ready, and then head out. Okay, I'm at Yaya Tea. I'm shooting a little like reel and I'm eating rice balls. This one has like like ribs, vegan ribs, obviously, ribs in it. And the other one has like ginger chicken. It's so good, they're like three something each and um, a really good on the go snack, which is why I'm shooting here and also why I'm eating it. Mm. I heated up some little egg cups for me to eat. This has been one of my new obsessions lately. They're like chickpea flour tofu veggie quiches. I added some ketchup and sriracha. It's still very hot because I just microwaved it. These have broccoli, kale, onion, and bell pepper. Mmm. I just took a nap. I'm trying to convince myself to go to the gym, but I'm a little hungry, so I'm going to eat some more at the ready. Cold before I go. There's like rice in here and chickpeas and vegetables. And a little piece of chocolate. Just got back from the gym and made myself chocolate blop. By this point, you know what chocolate blop is. So, I'm eating it. Mm. Also, I got myself a pack of cotton candy grapes again for $2. Honestly, I should have bought more than one pack. But I'm snacking on some grapes and I'm going to freeze the rest because I love frozen grapes. Here's a little breakfast situation before I go out and shoot a video. We have, I don't know, five, five pieces of Wurratueli, a meat stick, and that is my breakfast. See you later. Okay, I'm at the place I was supposed to shoot at today, and I got a side salad, a big old like Bombay club sandwich, and then a veggie burger. Obviously, I'm not eating this all now. Like, I shot it and I tried everything. But for lunch, I think I'm just gonna eat half of this club. It's huge, like this is just half. And the side salad. And then I'll bring back the other stuff for meal prep for tomorrow, probably. I made myself a little second lunch as I clean. Oh, don't look at my kitchen, it's a huge mess. Um, it's just a toast with ketchup and sriracha and just egg, and then another toast with avocado and kimchi. Very yum. So I'm not hungry, but I'm about to get a haircut, and then after my haircut, I'm going straight to the gym. 
and I know that if I don't eat now, I'm gonna be starving and cranky when I get to the gym. So we're just gonna eat a little something something. We have two stuffed kusas, stuffed squashes, and we have Kite Hill yogurt that I seasoned a little bit of salt and garlic powder. And I put that on top. So often we would eat this with like Greek yogurt and it doesn't really taste the same, but with the extra garlic and salt, it's pretty darn close. So, cheers. I'm not getting a big haircut. I'm just getting my, my bangs trimmed. I am back from the gym. Are you ready to see what fabulous dinner I concocted? So first off, we have some Three Wishes cereal in an Aviv shaker cup. Three Wishes is a grain-free protein cereal that I really like. I usually get the chocolate flavor, but I got the honey flavor because it didn't have chocolate at Whole Foods. Um, it's a vegan honey flavor. And then I have a bowl of cut up pineapple and frozen grapes. So I'm gonna eat this, shower, wash my face, brush my teeth, you know, do the nighttime things. Good night. Good morning, I have woken up hungry. So as I drive to work, I'm gonna be eating the other half of the sandwich that I ate yesterday. I guess I never told you what was in here. I guess it's a, a potato, chickpea patty, beet, tomato, cucumber, lettuce, and then some sort of sauce. Some sort of sauce. So I'm eating that and we're heading to work. So I filmed a taste test for this protein bar. Um, slash, I got hungry while I was working. It's the new like, new to me at least, one plant bar. I don't know, but it's like peanut and protein on the inside and chocolate on the outside. So I shot a little taste test and it turned out actually pretty good, I like it. And I'm eating it while I do inventory. One of the worst jobs, I swear. Food time! I am eating some kusa, I'll show you in a second. And I also might stuff some peppers later with some leftover like rice and impossible meat that was in my parents' freezer that I'm thawing right now. But that's later, that's for later to deal with. I'll show you now. Two kusas! Leftover yogurt from yesterday that I just threw in a Tupperware, like in its container, haha. <laughs> and this yogurt is the Kite Hill one with protein in it. Boom, and I'm going to be Oh yeah, I already seasoned this with like garlic and stuff and I'm gonna cut these open and pour it on top and this is gonna be, I don't know, lunch I guess. Dinner is not too exciting. I've been eating this on and off. Savory oatmeal, avocado, kimchi, just egg, soy sauce and sriracha. Gonna mix it all up and keep editing. It is payday for both of us. So we ordered out. Got a spicy tuna roll and dumplings and Berto got a spicy tuna roll and like soy nuggets, like nuggety nuggets. So we're having this for dinner. Good night. Hello, I'm actually at my parents' house. I've gotten a bunch of work done on my computer. Um, I was waiting for my brothers to wake up so we could take the camper and put it at work because it's been in my parents' driveway for many months now and it's clogging up their driveway and their garage and we have space for it at the factory so why not? Right? Thankfully, my one of my brothers is now awake, um, but he wants to go get himself some breakfast. So while he does that, I'm gonna eat a leftover soggy burger from Bombay Sandwich for breakfast. So, y'all saw it already, you know what it looks like. I'm eating that for breakfast, and I will see you later. We moved the camper to inside Riva. Actually, let me show you, one second. Oh, you saw this right. My camper is indoors. I didn't want it out like during the winter in the snow and stuff. It is weather weatherproof, but like it's wood too, you know? You know. So after we did that, I've been working at work for the past like four hours and then I got hungry. So I heated up this stuffed bell pepper that I made with leftover rice that my grandma had. I also seasoned up some yogurt dolloping on top and we're gonna be digging in for lunch, question mark? It's like 5 p.m. Mm. Mm. I'm back in my apartment, my hair is poofy, and I'm eating knishes. And I, I, yeah, I am doing it with a fork because I don't wanna touch them because they're hot. Mmm. Tastes like a mashed potato donut. 
Then she finished off the night with a bit of Three Wishes cereal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, it takes a special kind of person to just be recording herself all willy-nilly in the morning before even looking in the mirror. And that special kind of person is me. And this special kind of person woke up craving something sweet this morning. So I made myself my little cream of rice with chocolate protein powder and stuff. There you go. Mm -mm. I will be meal prepping later today. I'm feeling some, I don't know, maybe tofu scramble. Maybe I'll make myself some refried beans. I'll keep you updated. I just finished a good leg workout and I heated up one of the stuffed peppers I made. Ooh, look at it. Stuffed pepper, a little bit of potato on the side. Um, and I'm topping it with half of this Greek yogurt and boom. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm! Mmm! Mm. Good lord. I need to make this more. Mm -mm. Mm. I prefer stuffed in a green pepper because I don't like orange and red peppers, but this is what we had, so I made it. It's dinner time. I'm eating broccoli cheddar soup. Broccoli cheddar soup. It's a little microwavable thing from Rooted Vegan Cuisine. And we also have some toast to go along with it. Mm, mm, mm. A jar of pineapple for dessert. I made myself a little sandwich. It's just egg, avocado, and kimchi. Just that. I think that's enough. I don't think it needs anything else. I almost added sriracha, but I felt like the kimchi would be enough spice. Mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all I have for today. I really hope you liked that video. Um, like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, put Instagram right here. Also, I'm posting three times a day on TikTok for the entire year of 2023. So if you want to see me on TikTok, it's the same username. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Daisy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Sarah. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!